SAS presents All About Spatial Join. Sometimes we want to know how many buildings are closest to each fire station. Or what if we want to know how many homes are in each zip code? Well, to answer these questions, we can use Spatial Join. Here's what you need to know. In GIS, we store data in tables. No, not those kinds of tables. Tables of information. Tables that are connected to spatial data are called attribute tables. Tables that have no spatial features are called standalone tables. Sometimes we want to join tables of information between two spatial layers, say a layer of houses and a layer of zip codes. Spatial join lets us do that. With spatial join, we have two types of spatial relationships or ways to join tables of information. The first is called containment, where we look for a relationship where one feature is inside another. For example, finding the number of homes in a zip code is a containment join. The second type is called proximity, where we look for a relationship where one feature is closer to another based on distance. For example, finding which homes are closer to one fire station than another is a proximity join. Our spatial join operation can be a one-to-one -one or a one-to-many relationship. For example, if we join houses to zip codes, each house would now have information about what zip code it's in. This is a one-to-one -one join. But if we wanted to know the number of houses in the zip code, then we have a one-to-many relationship. Many houses are now summarized in the zip code table. To perform a spatial join, you'll need the following. Two spatial layers that overlap or share an extent, extent, like houses and fire stations. Let's work through an example. Let's say we want to find the number of homes closest to each fire station. What do we want to end up with? A layer showing fire stations with the number of homes in it. Since we want to know fire stations, we start there. Right-click and choose Joins and Relates, and then choose Join. Now we'll be in the Join Data table. We want to select Join Data from another layer based on spatial location. The layer we want to join to is homes, and we will select that each point will be given the summary of the numeric attributes points closest to it. Finally, we'll output the layer to a layer called output, a shapefile. Now spatial join will create a new layer showing fire stations. If we open that attribute table, we'll see that each station now shows the number of, of homes that are closer to it than any other station. That's the count. It'll look something like this. What else can spatial join do? We've only scratched the surface. Try it for yourself. Look for more videos on our YouTube channel, GIS Texas.